Hey everyone, it's Green Lord here, and today we're playing some more Mother 3. Last time we learned that Hinawa had been killed by Adrado when we found Simon and Alfred. This time, and then we found out that Simon had decided to go after the Drago for revenge. This time we're going to try to intercept him because obviously a Drago is very dangerous if it's decided to go aggressive, which is very strange actually. And before I really get going here, I would just like to give a huge thank you, oh dear, um, to my brother who has made my channel art and the first couple of thumbnails. Okay, this thing is very dangerous, it seems. So, we're just going to load our save here. Wait, to heal up this time. Eating some uh, beef jerky. There we go. And I think this time we're going to try and dodge this thing, because clearly they're very, very powerful and we don't really deal with them. But this time it got us, so I don't really know what else to do other than just fight. Let me see, okay, let's get into the melody. Come on, just keep attacking. And please keep kicking the round. No, stop charging! Stop charging! It hurts way too much! I just said stop! Oh, thank god we killed it. Oh, okay, those things are really scary, actually. We get 62 experience points, though, that's really good. So we level up to level 13. HP up by 6, offense up by 2, uh, defense up by 1, and defense, uh, speed up by 1. And we also get a present, beef jerky. Oh, okay, so we get beef jerky by killing them. That's actually really useful. Oh, there's a present. Hang on, I want that. Beef jerky. Okay, I can't carry any more stuff. Yeah, that's right. I'm just going to like eat some of the nut bread we still have, because honestly, we don't. Beef jerky is much better than that. So let's eat some nut bread and um, let's eat some more nut bread. Alright, and let's get this beef jerky. And I think I saw another present over here. Let me just go look. Um, oh, because one that wants to. Nope, don't want to fight you. You're scary. Very scary, in fact. Um, yeah. Although I could use some beef jerky. No, they've respawned now. Uh, the way. Respawning works in Mother 3 is when you leave the room, then if you come back, room being the particular map you're in at the point, at the, a particular point in time, you leave the map and then you go back to that place, then the monster will respawn. Which I must say is leagues better than in Earthbound, which is Mother 2. Because in Earthbound it was basically, you get, oh you've uh, gotten their spawn point off frame. Yeah, okay, fuck you. We're going to. Uh, sorry, language. But yeah, okay, basically. Yeah, no, we're going to respawn them right now. So if you had to backtrack, which you often did, because it had very labyrinthine dungeons, Earthbound, that is, then you would have to fight a very large number of enemies that you already killed. Uh, I mean, he feels homesick. <laughs> he feels homesick, oh, that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, but that would be a problem because you'd be running out of PSI by the time you got to the boss because there wasn't really a lot of healing points like Hot Springs, which there is in this game. So, in my opinion, Mother 3 is a vast improvement over Earthbound. Although Earthbound is still a good game, um, I just very much prefer Mother 3. We even get some nut bread for that purpose. Lovely. Okay, that's one of those um, stone. Uh, it's one of those crag lizard things that I accidentally started fighting uh, in another episode. I'm just going to run away. Oh, and I can't carry on. No, I don't want to fight that thing. Okay, these things are dangerous. So, uh, let's see what I can do with just uh, just punching. 19 and he does 9. Okay, we can do this. Assuming he doesn't have too much HP, fall down and attack. Oh dear, that hurts. Fight him. Please just. Oh no, stop bearing down. Just please bite me. Or something. Ah, doesn't hurt much. Oh thank god, he just bites. Uh, just bites. Okay, I'll see. Oh crap, I'm going to die now. 
Ah, no. Okay, I... fine. Try again. I can't remember what these do, since I've never done it. I've just reloaded the save state, but let's see. Okay, where do we go? What? Where the bloody hell am I? Uh, hot spring. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, we're in the forest, right? Okay, well, I'm going to load a save, load a save state for Actually, no, I'm not, because uh, you get to keep all of your experience and your items, which means that I'm going to have the experience. And I kind of want the experience, since we're going to be going up against more dangerous foes. So, yeah, I'm going to um, just uh, run back real quick. Sorry if you get bored. Oh, okay. We'll have to buy something. Uh, but we have gotten pretty powerful at this point, so we should be able to take them out very, uh, quite efficiently. And I even comboed for once. Lucky me. Forty-two experience points. So yeah, that was quite good. Right, here we go. No, I don't want to fight fight you, blind mice. And the snake, of course, joined the fight. Right. Well, the snake can poison us, so I think so we start by killing that uh, combo hack. Oh wow, flying mice. Big threat! Uh, when the fortress was burning out, I really pathetic. But yeah, we need to take out the snake because that could potentially poison us. I did. I just accidentally targeted the mouse. Oh, I'm an idiot. Right, yes. But the point is, they're really not very dangerous anymore. I mean, the snake was never too dangerous, but I mean, the flying map, that was presented as sort of a mini-boss when we were rescuing fuel. Now it's so pathetic, you can, I mean, it's missing, it's combo is doing 5 damage, really isn't very dangerous anymore. See, I mean, we just knocked it out very fast. So yeah, that's interesting. We even get 73 experience for our trouble, so that's lovely. Because, I mean, the more experience, uh, the merrier. It's not really a thing, but there's not really much to do. I have just been informed that my mic can actually be benefit from being louder, so I'm going to try to look into that between uh, episodes. But of course, while I'm doing this, I can't really adjust it. So yes, I will continue to apologize for bad audio. Remember to turn up your volume. So we found some peculiar cheese, but we can't carry any more stuff. Um, yeah, I do sort of want to throw some stuff away. Um, I don't really need the, uh, I don't really need that many antidotes. Yes, I will throw away the antidote. So, uh, the thing about peculiar cheese, I've explained this a couple of times, but, I mean, it can do less healing to some characters, but it can also heal a lot more to some characters, I think. Let me check the goods. Um, first of all, I want to... yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, cheese uh, that you either love or hate. HP restored, very suppressed person. So yeah, I just want to eat this. And I think I have some... no, I don't. Never mind. I thought I had some sort of um, old equipment that I should be throwing out by now. Um, like another bracelet, um, but yeah. So we we want to go get that Aquarius bracelet in the present. Hopefully without fighting a crack lizard, because those are scary. So yeah, I'm just going to equip this in case the cra crack lizard decides to come after us. So yeah, that's uh, that's another thing about the mother. Your inventory is very, very, very small, and you can't increase it, so you have to rely on having multiple party members to have a big inventory. Right, so Ares bracelet. Sorry, I don't need you anymore in your own, so you're just taking up space. Drop it, and let's try running away from the Kraglizard. I will happily fight other things, but not Kraglizards. Kraglizards are scary, and I really don't like them. Mischievous mode. All right. Let's fight this thing. There's the rock. Um, tickles us. And we dodged. See, uh, it's quite odd actually, because it says it says that um, we uh, it tickles us, but then it says we dodge. So, I mean, it says that it actually pulled it off, but then it says we dodge. That just doesn't make sense. 
and 31 experience point present and nut bread. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I can always use more healing items, but no, I don't want to fight you, you stupid crag lizard. No, I mean, I could use my bombs, but I really don't want to because my bombs are. I'm kind of reserving that for when we get to the Drago. Can I start by toughening up because they're very, very scary, these things. We can increase our defense. Okay, I should have toughened up from the start because four down attack. That uh, that was the stuff that really doomed us earlier. That did 20 per attack. Now it's just doing seven. Oh god, toughen up was the strategy. Okay, I have this down. Smash attack, four damage. Oh my god, why did I not think of this sooner? I am an idiot. Let's do this. And we even get a combo in. Oh yes, oh, yeah. things are really looking up now. Yeah. I mean, seriously, if I toughen up again, I'd probably be basically invulnerable. I killed a crag lizard! Holy crap, I've never done that before! 70 experience points! That's like a boss encounter, almost. Holy crap! Oh my god, yes! Oh, I feel really awesome right now! Uh, actually, let's have to test out the peculiarities on Flint for a second. It loves cheese, so we can recover 60 experience. That's quite good, actually. And then we'll just uh, top it off with a... No, you don't need that, actually. So, I am now emboldened. Let's fight another one. Also, um, Ed, Argula Pass, I know how you feel, but stay away. So, let's start by toughening up. Let's see. Yeah, and we'll just toughen up again. Didn't work. Okay, so we can only do it once. Fine. Uh, that's. I guess I'll strengthen it. All right, now we should really be able to just wreck this thing utterly. Let's see. Oh yes, now we're really we're dealing damage, and we're barely taking it. I should. You've really been using these the whole time. Holy wow! Wow! Seriously, keeps edging closer. Odd. 70 experience points, lovely. And we level up! Level 14, HP up by 7, offense up by 2, defense up by 1, that could have been better, IQ up by 1, and that's it. Right, yes. I re okay, so, so the game is telling me to stay away, sure, but I mean, look, the uh, we have uh, we have a Drago climbing, uh, that was, uh, that's from the Drago, and that's going in this direction, so, I mean, that answered your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. But I want to! Okay, so that's the same. Fine! It's odd. It killed you. Okay, maybe they didn't entirely eliminate the Earthbound, uh, leave the frame, respawn system. But, I mean, I really don't care. I'm not scared of these things anymore. So let's do this! Kill a crag lizard! So, we need to toughen up. He needs to fight him. One damage! One damage! Oh, this is amazing! Yeah, strengthen up! Edge closer. I really don't I really don't know if that actually does anything, or if that's just filler text. I mean I'm not sure. But yeah, 40 damage! Oh yes! Oh yes, baby! Combo! Oh I'm feeling good right now. This is exciting. That took like three turns! Oh my god, the scariest thing ever suddenly has become very tame. And we get that sweet, sweet 70 experience points. I mean, this is really just absolutely amazing. So, let's keep going towards Annex House. Um, this music is strange. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, I think we're, yeah, we're at Annex House. Right? Let's see if the um, animals have anything to do with it. Clark, please don't chase after me. Please don't chase birds. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Clark Clark, why are you chasing me? I'm not. I wanted to talk to you. And stuff. You weren't running. Yeah, you hurt. You hurt the pig. I want to see a pig seeing the ocean. Why not just be the pig seeing the ocean? Okay. Um, and pig too. I want to see the ocean. <laughs> oh, oh, they're mates, it seems. Yeah, he squeaks. Not wasting food is a commendable thing. Is that? But that does make things a little harder for me. Oh, poor thing. 
Still really don't think that looks like a cat, more like sort of a house, a horse with a with a uh, nose ring. That's what it's called. Wherever car, uh, where, uh, wherever and whenever cars go move. Okay, that's the same thing he said in the intro. Okay, yeah, really? Right, well, um, let's go see Alec. Actually, I can't, hang on, I want to go upstairs and look. If there's anything here. Look and answer. Yeah. Okay, not really anything going on. Yeah, hey, honored that. So, hello. Dude, say something. Oh, you made it. Driving through the forest has been quite dangerous indeed. Oh yeah, really? What were those extremely bizarre flying mouse things with bug wings? Seems one uh, bit me right on the head too. I feel that perfectly though, I was fast. No, 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 none of that matters. I know where Simon might have gone. You do? According to my froggy intelligence, he's at my friend's house. Oh, so he uses the same frogs as a spy network, that's quite cool. You like an old James Bond or something? Let's head there right now. Alec joined your party. Excellent. Now, um, he's not actually a full party member, but um, he's actually one of the uh, yeah, party member that does something. Please. Oh, I've, I've uh, forgotten my uh, old man voice. When I said frog intelligence just now, you thought, what? Did you? Frogs work for my friend as messengers. My friend is able to talk with frogs, lizard, and what have you. Is that that lizard uh, there, for instance? I really don't. We just need to go in the direction it tells us. Really don't see a lizard. Oh, there. Yes. Okay, then let's talk to this. Blit. You have doubts about this friend of mine, don't you? My friend. You know, friends are known as magic seems. They've lived isolated away from civilization for a very, very long time. I am a lizard. I will show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go. Where I stop, soon you will know. It doesn't look right. Oh, that's quite nice. What? I came from there. Okay. This is, this is where I came from. Well, I guess when there's one floor. Okay. Flit. What? I see you're not walking fast now. Seems the word magic seeds has made you curious. The magic seas have mysterious powers. They've been protecting something here for a very long time. We're going to get into that later. They're neither human nor beast, neither man nor woman. Well, I have absolutely no idea how old they are. That explanation didn't explain much, did it? Nope. Basically, they're strange. All of them. Every one of them. That's just how they are. They are good natured. Right. And we have a mole. Right, let's see how Alec does in a fight. Bash it. In the face. It falls over. Oh, that poor thing. Alec urged us to be careful. Right, yes. I swear, guys, he really does stuff. He really does stuff. He doesn't, he just doesn't have much uh, opportunity to show it off when we are so badass. But, you know, a bit of experience. And it's not right. Excellent. Okay, so we're going this direction. What? Uh, are you sure? Are you sure? I mean, there's like nothing there. But fine, let's try to hide this. Uh, shouldn't be. See, he attacks and he actually does a fair amount of damage. So that's quite lovely. So, yeah, that's the mischievous mill. Now, let's try talking to this thing. I'm a lizard, I'll show you which direction you need to go. Round and round we go, where I stop, soon you will know. Um, okay, fine. I really don't think this is... I mean, are you sure? Uh, yeah, he says the same thing, let me just check. Because this is really confusing. Okay. Blue frogs. Uh, what? 
Wrong. I'm the wrong frog. Okay. Right, right, right. Frog. The right frog. Okay. What on earth? They weren't kidding about the Froggy Intelligence Network. I mean, this isn't really the Froggy Intelligence Network. This is more the Froggy Bridge Network, I guess. But still. Hey there, Nutty Man. No problem here. Okay. All frogs. Although they don't seem to be harmed, but still. Look at this one. Ribbit, ribbit. Rabbit, rabbit. Okay. Sparrow. Chirp, chirp. Sparrow advice. You know how enemies sometimes leave nice items behind after you fight them? Your inventory is full when you find an item you want. You have to either give it up or throw another item away. Which is why it's a good idea to always eat any food items you have as you go along. Doing this will uh, help keep your inventory from getting full. This little trick is especially useful when you're hiking through forest and mountains. Well now, to the end of this uh, was a sparrow sand. A chirp a chirp chirp. Okay. Right. Well, um, yeah. Okay. So we have save frog, I'm just going to save. And apparently we have pink cap. Yeah, I'm just going to save. And... In the mood for a milking. Um, I mean, I'm guessing it gives us like a milk item, so yes. Can't hold any more stuff. Fine. Let's eat something. I really want to know what it gives us. Um, let's go with eat a throwaway antidote. We are beyond the snakes right now, so we can do that. In the mood for milking. Yes. Fresh milk. So the interesting, wow, you're good at that. So the interesting thing about fresh milk is that at some point it's going to decay, so it's no longer fresh milk. Uh, then it becomes, I think, sour milk, and then eventually it becomes yogurt, which is actually a really good item. So I'm just going to completely ignore the milk for as long as possible. Yeah, and uh, items also sometimes react with hot springs. I, I believe we get eggs at some point in the future. Then they can actually react with hot spring to get us um, uh, other types of eggs. So I know, uh, are you? Yeah, the they are very weird. Oh, humans! One's apparently sleeping. No problem here. So sleepy. I really don't know what to say to this. It's <laughs> really weird. Um, visitors, magnificent heart. You must, you simply must have some of this cake. It's scrumptious heart. I came from the cold place. Okay. Is that Alec? It is, is it? It is, it is. Good to see you, Snookums. Heart. Why am I? Who are these two? Don't be rude, I only introduce us. Of course, where are my manners? This is my good friend Alec. And who is this with you? Plink, you say? Well, it's very nice to meet you. Now let's get you all properly introduced to us. The Magipsies. You and Locke, we're having a party today. Neil all of us are here. First we have Aeolia. And there's Doria. Uh, Phrygia. Lydia. That one over there is Mixo Lydia. The only one not here is Locria. You can call me Ionia. Hmm? Can't remember all of that. Of course not. That's, uh, yeah, okay, sorry, I skipped some text accidentally. That's why I just introduced it to you, darling. Isn't that how it works? Right, Anarchy Poon? I am very confused. It's been a while. I'm glad to see you're well. I hear you help my grandson, Simon. You know where he might have went. Good question. Oh, you mean that rambunctious little squad from a little while ago? I suppose this flint fellow is his father. Hmm. Yes, I can see the resemblance now. You have the same eyes. So, what about Simon? Where is he? Oh, he, oh, he took off. He was in a great hurry mentioning something about avenging his mother. 
I was feeling generous at the time, so I sent him on his way with a super powerful uh, PSI technique. Those of you who don't know, PSI is the magic of the Mother franchise. Doubt he'll be able to use it very easily though. So he, so he left them. You didn't stop him, or something happens to him. Now get over yourselves. We can care less about you humans, here one minute and gone the next. You poor thing barely live a hundred years of that. Let's blink that eye. You need to ask magic, please. Why would anyone bother to care about such short lives? Now, now. Thanks, Olivia, Frigia. Humans worry uh, about such short lives. You're not right, Alkibu. I understand how you feel, I really do. I don't care if you understand or not. Just tell us where Simon went. The boy headed for the Drago Plateau. Quite rambunctious, I might add. Barely seemed concerned about his own short little life. Go now, you might just catch him in time. Drago Plateau, you say? Flint, let's hurry there. So, uh, the interesting fact about the uh, magic disease. All of them are named after music things. Flint, oh my god. Worst way to get the Drago Plateau is through the cave behind this house. I probably went through the cave too. Nothing to worry about, Flint. You're not going, uh, going to get very far being tense as you are. What you need to do is smile. Understand? Uh, well, my son is probably going to die because he's trying to go fight a dinosaur, so no! Come on now, that's no good. Smile and relax. I wanted him to say something funny. Anyway, this feels like a good place to be able to. So, with, um... Us knowing where Simon is going, and with the magic seas providing him with magic, you can see, we're going to stop the episode here, and then next time, we're going to keep chasing Simon, and hopefully stop him before he gets to the Drago. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.